Well, I think uh, Disha is a good idea because it becomes a new platform for young leaders, promising leaders, thinkers, hopefully, uh, to come together and have an exchange of ideas, think of solutions, answers to issues that are of concern to both or either of the two parties. And uh, at least my impression is that enough of that is not happening. India and the UK have a lot in common. If you look at the current, I mean, the relationship today, the economic relationship is very close. India is a, one of the largest investors in the UK. UK invests very heavily in India. There's a lot of uh, educational link. We have a lot of Indian students in the UK. And, uh, of course, we share a lot in terms of uh, cultural heritage, history, and uh, uh, relationship across a large number of sectors in the last uh, several decades. About your question about uh, Indo-UK relationship uh, making an impact on the society, I feel that we are bound together by the tradition. Most of the, in terms of medical education, entire medical education platform for in India was laid by them. And that is, today, were India and England working together can come up with a solution for the rest of the world. What would delight me the most to come out of Disha? I would say uh, an attitudinal change to uh, uh, look at problems not as zero-sum games, but that there could be win-win situations where people, young people from my country and from the UK come together and say we've done something which is not only better for our countries but for the world. And I think also um, a change in values a little bit. That's very important. You know, whatever we might say about the importance of technology, innovation, um, <clears throat> human resource management as given in the management manuals, all of that fades when you compare that with the value system uh, with which you approach a problem. Uh, for example, your attitude towards gender, your attitude towards mixing with different races, these things really come from uh, um, uh, a value of, uh, 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 of valuing differences. And I think when people, young people meet with each other, they would no longer look at the skins or, and, and uh, say recent history or recent conflicts and, and point fingers at each other, but understand that they all basically with their education and their value system, they, they can take on these challenges frontally and come out with a solution. It'll, it'll develop the positive spirit if they approach it with the right mindset uh, and, and right set of values. So I would expect a good mix, a very uh, good mix of different kinds of people, but uh, all driven by the enthusiasm to meet others, to receive ideas from others, uh, to work as a team, to make a difference, and to uh, have a sense of giving or have a sense of service to the society. Since the average age of the people who are coming together in Pune is about 32, 33, I understand, from India and UK. And I can give you a good answer because I have two sons, both in that age group. Uh, I think they have a lot in common. They have a lot in common because this generation of Indians who have been educated well, some of them have had some exposure to education in the UK or in the US, they really see themselves as a global citizen with their roots focused in India. So I think they are, they are not satisfied with just improving the systems as they are in India. They want the best. For that, they want to look at the UK, they want to look at Europe, they want to mix and match and find what suits best for their own country. And I, I interact a lot with that generation 
uh, of uh, boys and girls and I can tell you that a lot of their friends are from UK and they think together, they, they think the same way, their, their attitude, their approach is one of impatience, one of uh, looking for global solutions. They are no longer satisfied with just looking at their city or their state or their country. Uh, would I have liked to go to uh, get involved with an initiative like Disha? In fact, I am regretting that it wasn't there uh, 20 years earlier. I would have loved to take part in uh, a venture, uh, an initiative like Disha, to meet with the uh, you know various representatives of various sectors, have an exchange of ideas to know what's going on in the other country. I, mean, I think it's a great idea. I would love to be a part of it. The, in terms of uh, uh, the Disha success, few years from now, when you analyze what Disha has done to the society, I would like every study by every government in the world, every study by any corporate house, to quote the study done by Disha. Uh, these are the young people who took up the challenge and they did it. So if they did it, we also can do it. Yeah, this is what uh, is the outcome I am expecting.